As more and more play to earn games come online, it's becoming harder and harder to get in on the ground floor. I recently did a video on Cedify, which is a game specific launch pad, and they have a brand new game that is coming soon that you can get in on the ground floor and is actually looking really great with a bunch of great play to earn features. I'm going to break it all down for you. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking about a new play to earn game that is just getting ready to IGO. And that means initial game offering, right? So these are the initial assets uh, that are coming out for the game and, uh, and the supporting cryptocurrency. And, you know, this is a time when the most profits are made. Getting in on the very early seed rounds on a game where, you know, you have access to it instead of a bunch of VCs getting that first crack. And that's what most of these products end up being. Most high level games in and, you know, outside of crypto, but uh, crypto products always kind of, you know, have uh, 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 the private sale, something that is after all these rounds of investors and accredited investors, and they are getting access to it first. But uh, my friends over at Cedify, uh, have helped me to, uh, you know, open your guys' uh, idea up to be able to, to to use a platform like what they've offered to be able to get in on the ground floor of some of these games. So if you haven't checked out my Cedify review video on on what they do with their launch pad, uh, I'll link it above here uh, in in uh, and also in the description below, uh, so you can check that out. But uh, you know, this is the the newest one coming to their launch pad, so I'm going to break it down. It's called Try Hearts. Uh, this is going to be a fun NFT play to earn game. I'm going to show you all about it right now. But before we get started, if you love NFTs, gaming, and you love earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like. And you can uh, join uh, our community of stashers in continuing your, your play to earn and NFT journey with us. We'd love to have you in our Discord. All right, so let's jump into tryhards and tell you guys what this is all about because like I said, this is one of those projects that uh, you know is a pretty interesting. It's got a great mix of of, of you know gameplay features uh, that we want to see for play to earn and also graphics too, which is a lot. You know, that's some of the things we're lacking on some of these games. So here we are uh, with tryhards. Uh, this is uh, like I said, it is a uh, basically is a top down strategy style shooter. That's that's the best way to describe this game, and we're going to show you some gameplay here in just a second, some early gameplay. But uh, it is a polygon-based uh, NFT game right now. They are going to be bridging to Solana and BSC, so they're going to be multi-chain. Uh, they're going to be uh, you know a cross-chain kind of uh, blockchain action, and they say it's going to be the biggest one. So I, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Uh, the gameplay looks pretty cool so far. Uh, so this this uh, game is actually doing their IGO on Cedify on November 22nd. So that's what you got to keep in mind. And for all those that are out there, uh, you know, there it's it's you know, Cedify is not available for everybody. Uh, if you are a U.S. resident, it is hard to be able to use Cedify. You do have to have like a special company set up. But for everybody else, you will have to uh, KYC, and then uh, you use uh, you have to have, have some of their their actual platform token called S Fund. So the more S Fund you have, the more availability you have to these uh, these seed rounds so uh so yeah so try hearts is all about a top-down strategy shooter and you basically have uh, two different nft components and that is the your, your actual character which they call fanatics and then also the weapons so these are the two different nfts that you have in the game and so we let's we're going to look at some of the uh the gameplay here because the game this, this is actually a pretty cool little gameplay video so let's take a look All right, so that looks pretty cool, right? I mean, that's a really quick, you know, shot at uh, their what their actual gameplay looks like. Uh, they do have another trailer out that uh, just kind of shows a little bit about their worlds, which we're going to break down here in just a second. So uh, all these these characters that you're playing, they're called fanatics, and they're broken down into uh, four different factions, right? The whole idea behind this game is that uh, the uh, Earth it was thrown into conflict. 
uh, after the the Satoshi massacre, and I like how they kind of use uh, the, the, in, in our trailers too. They always talk about like it's uh, the you know AE after Satoshi AS, right? It's like instead of uh, AD or BC, uh, but it's but it's after Satoshi is is the way that they they uh, you know count time, which I thought was kind of funny. So after this, uh, you know, everyone fled Earth. Uh, they found these different planets to live on, and now they have these different factions: apes, robots, survivors, and the undead. And they're all on kind of different planets. And now uh, Earth is is now habitable after like a thousand plus years. And now they're all coming back to Earth, which they, they now call Planet X. And they want to are they're battling over who is going to have it, the resources and all the, the the you know the planet has to offer. So that's kind of where these fanatics come in. And so the fanatics are NFTs, the weapons are NFTs, and each one of these NFTs you have on here actually earns you daily rewards. Right, so you're earning uh, their tri tokens. So tri tokens are used in a couple of different ways in the platform, which we're going to get into in a second. But uh, depending on the level of your NFTs, how big they are, uh, they're getting what they call universe power. So you're essentially staking this universe power, and uh, you know that, that from you know, all of your weapons, and NFTs, and fanatic NFTs, and you're getting tri tokens. So they earn you a little bit of passive income. So just by holding an NFT, you're earning passive income for this game, uh, and uh, these tri tokens are used for PVP and for PVE, and you can earn them in PVP, uh, PVE as well. So uh, PVP is 1v1, and you're essentially putting up tri tokens, staking them to be able to uh, battle somebody. If you win, you take the pot. Now the PVE, you can earn uh, tri tokens in PVE as well. Uh, it's kind of like a tower defense style where uh, you, the more enemies you kill, the longer you last, the more you're gonna be able to earn. So that's kind of the two different modes there, and how that works, and how the NFTs work within the game as well. So you have that kind of play to earn aspect. Uh, and then, uh, you know, some of the other aspects of this game is that uh, you do need something called crystals to be able to uh, level up your stuff. So crystals are important. And that is another uh, way where, uh, where you know, uh, try gets I I into the whole mix, right? Where there's a use case for the try token is that you get crystals, which you use for leveling up by staking your try or, or providing liquidity for a try pair. And so you'll gain crystals, which allow you to, uh, to, to level up. And so you can see they kind of talk about gaining power here for your weapons and fanatics. So, uh, yeah, and, and there's other ways that you can earn things. So, like uh, a refinery, you can craft better quality crystals. Uh, like I said, staking uh, your universe power to earn tri tokens. The higher your total universe power, the more tokens you're earning every day, right? So, the, the better your weapons are, the more you're going to earn. So, it has a very good economy thought process here uh, to what they're trying to go on. So, and here's the different factions apes, robots, the undead. They do a great job of like I, I love the graphics too. This guy reminds me of uh, of the dude from uh, um, from Apex Legends. I forget his name. Uh, but yeah, so you kind of get an idea of what each one kind of looks like and what their play style is. And so there's a bunch of different fanatics. I think there's about twenty uh, that you can choose. So that means about four from each faction. So you see, there's a couple of monkeys, and they all have their own kind of like name. And so each one of them has like special uh, powers. So they all have like different strengths. So depending on how you want to play, you may want to use a different fanatic for for your uh, chosen faction. And then same thing with weapons. The weapons all have a little bit of a different, uh, you know, uh, you know, gameplay for them, right? And way that they're going to use. So the combination of your fanatic and your weapon is going to give you, uh, you know, maybe an advantage or disadvantage in PvP or PvE, right? So kind of leveling those things up. And so you can see here is the kind of different uh, levels they have. So as you refine up and, and uh, you know, get better quality, you know, they, they level up and they get uh, higher things. So legendary is the highest. There's six different uh, qualities, they call it. And then same thing with uh, with crystals. So you can, you're can you essentially boosting up your levels with crystals and you get up to a le legendary level uh, for those NFTs. And then see, here's the skills we were talking about before. So like I said, uh, level up your fanatic to unlock new skills from the skill book. Uh, you, and you can you, you essentially, uh, you know, build out these characters with different skills. Uh, so you can, like I said, meet the kind of requirements for maybe that that uh, specific level or maybe, you know, what you think somebody is going to be doing in PvP, which is pretty cool. So hopefully you guys like this uh, review here of Tryhards and what is all about. So the game is going to be launching on CDFI on November 22nd. And uh, you can grab those, those uh, you know, Try tokens. Uh, using your Cedify account, uh, but let me know what you guys think about Tryhards as a game. If you think it's something interesting that you would definitely want to play, has a great economy, some cool looking NFTs, uh, I want to hear your comments below. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.